Hi guys, it's Paul again from my YouTube art channel. Um, now I love pandas, um, I love the, the art of panda bears. Um, so I'm just going to do a bit of street art um, to do with, there's all sorts of pandas in uh, graffiti and street art. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is between uh, Kevin, the bird from up and the angry bird here, I'm going to just pop uh, quite a small face of a panda here. Um, and try and make it look like it's um, been done on a wall. So I'm going to use a little bit of felt tip uh, and a mix of pencil crayon, okay? So all I've got for this is, um, if you can see this here, uh, black, um, some kind of grey or light grey or kind of silvery colour, and then uh, quite a dark pink, um, and then Stabilo fine liner to just to start it, up, start it off with. You could use a pencil if you want to and then go straight into uh, the black pencil crane uh, or black felt if you've got one. Um, I'm going to do this with a pencil crane so just because I want a bit more control. Okay, but you'd probably do it with uh, a mix of pencil crane and uh, and felt tip. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just locate where my eyes and ears are going to be. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to bring the the eyes in here. So. I'm going to curve this round. It's going to be quite jagged. Okay. And this is kind of a cartoon bear. Alright. Then you want to leave quite a bit of white space between one eye and the other one. Okay. Um, and we're going to go in this direction. We'll get out of the way in a minute. Um, So that's the that's the look I'm going for, okay? Now with the nose, you want to leave a space and then put the nose in. Now a bear's, a panda bear's nose uh, is this kind of shape. Right. So we want this kind of shape going on, okay? Uh, and then we're going to do him with a sad little mouth, okay? There we are. Uh, now the ears, we're going to bring in, because this is white paper and it'd be a white wall if you're doing it as on a wall, okay, um, you don't really have to colour in any any of the other whites, so we can just have fun with the making it look like graffiti in a minute, okay, when we've got the basics done. So there's one ear, okay, and across here we're going to have the other ear. Now you want it about the same height. Um, hopefully you can see that now. Um, with the bottom of my, sorry, the top of my page. Um, so we'll just bring that across and down. Loads of artists, street artists, use pandas holding guns and things like that in their in their street art. So we're going to do a similar thing here. Okay, we're just going to bring that a bit higher just to match that, you want that the same kind of level for the other ear, okay? Um, and you don't have to be neat on this one, okay, if you don't want to be. Okay, so there's your basic panda, but we're just gonna show where the, the, the panda's head is by just doing a little bit of gray, okay? So all you want is a line like this, okay? Um, you want a little bit of gray in here, go in this direction. Okay, quite and nice and light. A little bit of grey this side. Um, we're going to do a bit of grey here. Okay, and you just the idea is you just a little bit of grey in the middle here actually. Okay, um, what you're just showing is that the panda's got some kind of definition to it. Okay, so you can see where its body is. All right, um, that kind of thing, okay. Um, now we're gonna make the the bear have a bit of a shape, shape for his head. We bring it down here, all right, um, and it's gonna be this kind of shape going on here. Now don't worry too much about this because this is all gonna be black, all right. Um, so. 
pencil frame now. I'm going to come back to that. Um, I'm going to come back to that grey in a minute. Coloring pencil crane for the for the nose. Okay, pencil crane again. You could use a felt if you wanted to with this. Um, coloring this eye. Okay, and again, what the idea is, you're trying to make this look like a wall. Okay, so you're going to have all sorts of uh, streaks of pink coming down in a minute. All right, now it might look like a bit of a mess at the moment. But don't worry about that too much. It'll come together in a minute. Okay, um, and then yeah, we just need to colour in this this ear. Try and get out of your way in two seconds. One, two. There we go. Um, try and fill that in if we can, as best we can. Okay. Um, so one eye done. You could leave that white if you wanted to. You could change the colour, make it a weird colour one eye, different colour than the other if you wanted to, or I've seen some pandas with kind of American flags inside their eyes, or one eye, uh, Union Jack, something like that, uh, NHS, if you want to support the NHS uh, in your artwork at the moment, that kind of thing, okay, um, and then we're going to do some uh, dribbles, but I'm going to do it in pen, so I'm going to change to my fine liner now, so what you want to do is try and get um, kind of as if the the paints um, falling off his eye there, okay. Um, and then we're going to do off this here. Going to do a little dribble there, but we're going to have one straight long line like that, okay. Um, now the rest of this you're going to do black. And then it's a little bit of pink coming in. So you want you want to bring in quite a lot of harsh black here around around this face, but you don't want it too neat and tidy, okay? We just miss out that hashtag there because we've already done that um, before in the last tutorial, okay? Um, so we're bringing all this black around here. And what that then does is really brings that white forward, um, which is excellent. That's that's really what we want to achieve here. Okay, so a little bit of black around here. Going to leave a bit of space for grey. Okay, um, and we're going to just leave that art there so we can see that. All right, um, and then as we're coming down, we're going to go over the top of the bunny's ears actually there. Um, I mean, you might think this is a bit of a mess, you might want to do this, but I'm just showing you kind of graffiti style um, now. All right. Um, so we're going to have some long streaks here. And we're going to go up and round his head. Yes, okay. Um, so back to the grey. Alright, we're going to fill this in in grey here. Alright. And then I'm going to go a square, almost half a square of grey there. I don't know why, I just feel like doing that. Um, I'm going to do some grey around this head, like that. Okay, we're going to do some squiggles like this. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring the grey in a little bit more here and extend it like that. Okay, so now we've got the kind of bear, the classic bear going on now. Okay, doing a little bit of grey in here. Now what you want to do is flick this round like this okay and again nice and light round here almost white yeah the top of the, the ear there. now we're going to go to town on the pink now all right so what I want you to do is is be nice and nice and um, firm with your 
with your pink strokes. Okay, one across there, another one there like this. So it looks obviously done on purpose. And a number of dots underneath the nose. We're going to have a little bit of pink here. Okay, and then we're going to have a pink line through there. But you don't want it light, you want it nice and firm, okay. Uh, and then down here, we've got pinks going on, okay. Um, loads of pinks going on here, okay. Um, yeah, and up by his ear, there's another flash of pink that you can you can do, which is this kind of thing, okay? And then just splashes of pink, all right? Um, a little bit of pink over here, all right? So this is the kind of um, look we're going for here with this panda. Just a tiny bit of pink in there. Um, so there you go, there's your panda. You can just carry on um, with this. I'd go back to the fine liner now. If you want to pick up some black dots, okay. Um, like this, and we'll put some, a few dots down here just to try and that this um, do some more lines down here like this over the top okay I'm just doing my fine liner now you can use a felt tip for this if you wanted to okay um, but this is where the fine liner comes into its own really because you can you can have fun with the fine liner now Okay, um, and this is all you really need to be thinking about doing. Um, just pulling some fine lines, some fine strokes. So you could go down the page like this if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to drop in a, a pink one just to follow that black down. Okay, um, and then again, fill in some of this. I'm going to fill in some of this here. Um, with the grey, all right. Just because I don't want it looking too white on the on the background. Okay, and I'm just going to do a slight flash of pink across here. It's a tiny white colour into his face. Um, so this is the kind of um, art that you want to be trying to achieve if you're doing street art. Okay, um, and that's that's basically my attempt at a street art panda face. Um, this is by a, an artist called Katie Ralph, who's a, um, a street artist. She sells her work on DeviantArt. Uh, she simply calls it panda painting. Um, so I think she's originally done this on a canvas um, to make it look like street art. So uh, I think she's used uh, acrylics and watercolors, I think, for that. Uh, but I've used mainly um, colored pencil crayon. Okay, so hopefully, you don't think that's spoilt the um, the look of the piece. A bit more uh, street art. The last um, tutorial I did, I showed people how to do these classic um, graffiti eyes. Um, there's this kind of weird cloud going on. Uh, previous lesson, I've showed people how to do bubble writing with uh, art school. Um, and I think you can probably, if I just move it up a little bit, uh, Bart Simpson's got some eyes over the top of him here. And then Baymax, I've done, um, I've done a classic um, crown from the phrase or the word king. Um, so this is becoming a little bit more street arty now. Uh, hopefully you can see all that. Um, so that's that that uh, tutorial done. Uh, panda uh, on the wall in the background behind Mickey Mouse's curtain. Um, I think you can probably see Mickey's hand over here uh, on this side. Uh, holding back a curtain so we're going to just create some more artwork on there now the next few nights and uh, if you've got any um, queries any questions just ask me if you've got any comments please leave a message uh, make sure you click subscribe 
if you can uh, follow uh, notifications follow uh, more tutorials and have fun with your art and I'll speak to you soon take care bye bye